just glass and just beam on her head. They also did a funeral like oh, that, that, remember? Yeah, just they were, they were t um, two men were holding her. Welcome back to our podcast. We are Unspoken. I'm Doreen. This is Jay. This is Lena. And we are going to be talking about different urban legends in each episode. And this one is called The Stair. So let's see what we have. The Stair is a creepy story about a girl who takes a subway one night. And she noticed that a woman is sitting across from her is staring at her very, very intently. And she felt it a little, yeah, she felt a little bit creeped out, but didn't mind it at all and the two the woman had two men sitting right next to her right and then a guy got on the subway and saw what was happening and went to the girl and pulled her and took her off the subway and the girl was all confused about what was happening and the guy said i'm sorry to scare you but just so you know the woman that was sitting across from you was dead and the two men were holding her up Wait, so what? i just saved what? your life yeah so um that <laughs> that is basically the story so she was like not staring she was dead, dead. and someone else was yeah. holding her from her back yeah, yeah, yeah they, about they were stare. they were to, um two men were holding her on each side so, they so were that men her. saw it and pulled her to not get killed yeah exactly so they were transporting a dead body oh my have you guys ever heard this story or something similar mm, not <laughs> I, I mean i did see on instagram once that like that is like dead rapper like all dressed up and stuff still standing on his casket while everybody was throwing up at a club uh, yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, I did yeah. see once but like yeah in Aruba they also did a funeral like that remember yeah true true it's like, not common but um it's so weird yeah to have the person like instead of having a funeral with a casket they're sitting and people are having a party around the person yeah like just having a dead body just be yeah. chilling be yeah. decaying while you're just like I would I not people. feel comfortable. No, no, I would not feel comfortable to dance yeah. there. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's weird because you want to like I understand the point of trying to celebrate the person's life, but you still need to mourn the death, you know? Or respect the body. I mean, yeah, having, you're having, respect it, like not even that, but having dead. a decaying, dying body, yeah. man, your health gonna get messed up. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. getting sick just by standing around. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's a normal. dead person. I don't yeah. I would be traumatized. Yeah. yeah. I could not even go to the oh. funeral. Yeah, yeah. Like I was traumatized to, to see it in my real life. I don't know. It's oh it's it, it is very weird and it got me curious to see where did this urban legend come from is there any truth to it or anything every story that i found was based in the uk so um apparently Hi, it okay yeah. <laughs> Longer, so, right? yeah and there are different variations to the story there was one that the two men dragged the woman in there and the woman had a scissor in the back of her head 
there's one where the woman was a man that was dead and then um the man just fell to the ground when the subway stopped <laughs> so there are different variations <laughs> <of it. laughs> I'm, so, I'm, just, I'm just imagining it in my head right now like you just you just a dead dude being caught carried by two people and also drake and josh type of like an episode <laughs> oh, where you're yeah. like uh, yeah. and, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, it would be so, so that confusing. Is, that is, oh no. But Lord. apparently, the only thing that I can link to something of truth mm-hmm. is basically suppose in the 19th century, London had a forgotten rail, r- railway that was called Necropolis Railway which was in operation from 1854 to 1941 mm-hmm. and it ferried corpses almost daily from Lo- London Waterloo Station to Brookwood Cemetery near Walking in Surrey. Um, and it was a solution because all of the London graveyards were getting full. So 2,000 bodies going daily. I don't know if this is true or not. That's what I, I heard. But there are some people questioning if that railway even existed in the first place. But I think from there, the story might have come. Mm. I don't know. Um, but can it just like... For real, being in a in London, for example, mm-hmm. yeah, you're I don't know in Piccadilly Circus. You're mm-hmm. going to the metro, mm-hmm. and someone across you. It's like three a.m. and someone across you is just dead. And just staring, and, and they didn't even it. know. And that's the thing. Since, it's so creepy. Since it was fresh, they didn't notice that the per- the woman was dead. She was just like staring. Yeah, because my friend lives in London, mm-hmm. and in London. It's so many people are just stabbing each other on the street, like randomly near to her, like 10 yeah. minutes before she arrives or things like this. Yeah. But she works at night, so yeah. she comes home like at around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Yeah. And she, she sees all of that, you know, yeah. the police yeah. and all that crap. So it, if you think about it, it's so scary to live in because you don't know if what you're going to walk happen, today yeah. and you're going to be alive or someone is just going to come and oh, yeah. you're yeah. dead. That's it. It is. Very it's your end day. And that's the thing, when you go through something like that, your brain can't even process what is yeah, really exactly. going on. You can't, because yeah. it, it just, you don't expect that. Yeah. You just live in your bubble, yeah. let's say. You live in your bubble, everything is so nice and cool, and then just, someone just comes and kills you. Yeah, yeah, it is creepy. You like, have problems. <clears throat> last time, like since I moved here, I did come across a few situations, mm-hmm. not a people stabbing but like I was at Bremark in I think Amsterdam or it was when I was in Rotterdam I can't remember but um I was just sitting with my daughter and my mom and then the lift goes open and then a girl just freaks out and starts hitting a girl "Ah, don't fucking touch me and starts hitting 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 the girl and the girl didn't even touch her and she was trying to go away and um the elevator was full there was a girl with a tiny dog there was a girl with a baby the baby was crying it was chaos and then when everybody left the mm-hmm. lift even the girl that got all beat up she was looking at herself in the mirror and the other girl had like a emotional support dog yeah. with her yeah. so she has some kind of problems what i mean and she wasn't alone she was with a guy mm-hmm. and she was like hyperventilating but I mean, if you know, if you have those types of episodes, you shouldn't go and live with crowded people. Yeah, know? and you should have someone around you all the time. Yeah, especially if you're gonna hold you. But that's the thing. He, uh, she was with a guy. Yeah, but like the guy that didn't yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy because she just got wild. Maybe and guy got like, so tired of girl tripping up all the yeah. time. Yeah, Be but like, like, hey, yo, you do you. Shari, I love you, but you tripping. You acting crazy. I, I, I'm just saying. But like that's. But like, a story from Basquiat. Oh my you know the story oh, from Basquiat no, no, with no, a girl. No, so she was in Basquiat. She was upstairs, and the guy started like to. She, he wanted to hit on her somehow. Yeah. So, this girl went. He, they were upstairs with this guy. Mm-hmm. We're talking something, and he started like pulling her mm-hmm. and hitting her, really yeah. like hitting and pulling her, like arguing. Mm-hmm. And when she turns around, she takes a glass and just like, hit Beam. on her head. Yeah. And she had like blood all over. This guy is still not in jail. No. He is, he didn't even pay the fine for it because uh, but school in that corner didn't have cameras so uh, they said like you cannot prove it yeah yeah and she was going to school again and uh, when she was seeing this guy she was just creeping out because yeah, yeah, can you imagine like he's like crazy yeah. she's he's like kind of old yeah. and he's going 
out there just to chase for some uh, young yeah, women. Yeah, he, he, he kind of just trying it's to like crazy. you know try to get student type of girls to mess around yeah. with and stuff like that. I, I, I know what you mean. I know the story. Like we want like, yeah like, to make out or something, but. I feel like it is crazy because this kind of correlates to our previous episode how I was talking about my roommate just bashing doors. Yeah. Like, I'm starting to see a pattern where, like, people just be tweaking and tripping and the law, like, eh, no proof, no nothing. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 yeah, you're, you making, don't you're making the story. Yeah, yeah. You're making the story. Yeah. Simple. It's so yeah, but here police works really slow, to be honest. Yeah, they even saw so But like, like the whole the whole law system as well, they believe a lot in um like rehabilitation. So <laughs> all the sentences are very short. Yeah, yeah. I understand, but like if someone is like this, I'm I'm gonna be scared to exactly. go outside. Yeah. I'm gonna be scared to yeah. walk on the street. Because if this man just to want me Mm-hmm. And he starts just hitting me, just I don't know, to rape me. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Take kickboxing Everything classes happen. and start kicking ass back. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Kickbox classes, kick ass back. Yeah, exactly. I, I like you have to go to know. like fight. That, yeah, fight I classes. Like know. you have to know how to beat someone up, yeah. Yeah. just in case. Yeah, just to protect for self defense. Yeah. Well, thank you again for joining us in this episode. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye.